हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग द वर्कबुक सॉल्यूशन फॉर सोशल साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सेवन चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन दैट इज इक्वालिटी इन डेमोक्रेसी बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टेल नाउ प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोज सो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द एम फर्स्ट वन विच कंट्री हैज द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी इन दर्ल्ड इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर सी इंडिया सेकेंड विच कंट्री हैज द लार्जेस्ट रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ए इंडिया third who has given equal opportunity to all citizens it's option number d constitution of india fourth who has given right to equality to every citizen it's option number a constitution of india fifth using whom do the citizens form the government in democracy it's option number c suffrage sixth at what age is suffrage got in our country it's option number b 18 seventh who arranges voting in our country it's option number a election commission 8 the children of what age have right to free compulsory and universal education it's option number d 6 to 14 years 9th if the child under how many years is employed for any work it is called child labor it's option number a 14 years 10th it is violation of law to employ children under the age of how many years at option number c 14 11 what is given very much importance in democratic country it's option number c equality 12th incidents which violate right to equality creates an adverse impact on what of the society it's option number b harmony now we'll continue with question number 2 that is fill in the blanks first one India is a country of democracy second India is the largest democracy in the world third constitution is called the guideline for governing the country fourth the constitution of India is largest written constitution of the world fifth democracy is the rule of the people by the people and for the people sixth Gram panchayat is considered to be the smallest panchayat in the country. Seventh, parliament is considered to be the largest panchayat in the country. Eighth, Constitution of India has given the right to vote to every citizen over the age of 18 years. Ninth, child labor is considered main in inequality. Tenth, in India it is violation of law to employ children for any work. under the age of 14 years 11th if the child under uh, 14 years is employed for any work it is called child labor 12th if we keep cleanliness we can tell others for cleanliness now we'll continue with question number 3 that is true or false first one india is a communist country it is false second india is a vast and diverse country it is true third equality means all are equal and respectable it is true fourth democratic government is formed according to the will of the people it is false fifth child labor shows inequality it is true sixth child labor is a violation of the right to education it is true seventh it is violation of law to employ children under the age of 16 years it is false eighth child labor is also employed in some places to pay less it is true ninth people with disabilities women and small children are paid less it is false tenth if we respect someone someone will respect us it is true now we'll continue with question number 4 that is match the following first one india it's option number 3 country having diversity second constitution it's option number 1 an equal right for all third right to vote it's option number 5 over the age of 18 years fourth child's fundamental right to education it's option number t uh, to age of 6 to 14 years now we'll continue with question number 5 that is answer the following questions in one or two sentences first one why has constitution been drafted India is the vast and diverse country with the largest democracy in the world therefore for the proper management of the country constitution has been drafted second one what is equality equality means all are equal and respectable third 
give the definition of democracy democracy is the rule of the people by the people and for the people fourth who gets a right to vote every citizen of india above the age of 18 years or 18 years get a right to vote fifth one what are the functions of the election commission the election commission has made special arrangements so that all the registered voters in the country can cast their votes without any fear it creates a special voting facility for women and differently uh, abled voters sixth one of what violation is a child labor considered child labor is considered a violation of a child's right to free and compulsory education seventh one what right have all children of india all children of india have the right to free and compulsory education for the age of 6 to 14 years eighth one to employ a child for any work of what age is it a violation of law it is a violation of law to employ a child for any work under the age of 14 years ninth one why should child labor be stopped child labor is an inequality in our society it is an exploitation of children it is also a violation of the right to education it is a legal offense to employ a child for any work under the age of 14 therefore child labor should be stopped 10th one in what matters are men and women discriminated men and women doing the same work are discriminated in paying wages now we'll continue with question number 6 that is answer the following questions briefly first one what is a democracy according to former us president abraham lincoln democracy is the rule of the people by the people and for the people democracy is a system of governance which is formed by the vote of the people and governed by elected representatives our country has a democratic system of governance second one in what matters have we been given the right to equality the constitution of india has given the fundamental right of equality to all citizens by this right equality before the law and equal protection of the law are given to all citizens all citizens of the country are given the right to equality in the following matters equality among individuals to different religions equality in personal development equality based on language or dialect equality based on gender equality in getting education equality in expression of thoughts equality in government jobs business social life etc third one what is necessary for the overall development of an individual for the overall development of the individual it is necessary to exercise the right to equality properly without any discrimination on the basis of religion language gender race ethnicity color or the place of birth now we'll continue with question number 7 that is write short notes on first one is equality in democracy india is a democratic country equality is a fundamental principle of democracy the constitution of india has given the fundamental right of equality to all citizens of the country by this right equality of law and equal protection of law are given to all citizens in india every citizen is given the right to equality without any discrimination of religion race caste gender language color or place of birth everyone is given equal opportunity to get education development employment and religion overall development can be achieved through the right to equality in a democracy the right to equality is also essential for maintaining our self esteem second one is equality in suffrage india is a democratic system of government in a democracy government is formed by the vote of the people for this the constitution of our country has given equal suffrage to every citizen above the age of 18 years or 18 years every citizen has the right to vote through equality to right amongst different religions language gender dialect or economic differences 
all the registered citizens of the country can vote without any fear by the suffrage the election commission wants every citizen to be fearless and exercise their right to vote the election commission makes special arrangements so that women and differently abled voters can cast their votes third one is child labor and child rights every child has a fundamental and legal right to education for the holistic development of personality every child in our country has been given the legal right to free compulsory and universal education for 6 to 14 years therefore a child under the age of 14 cannot be employed child labor is a violation of a child's right to education it is a violation of the law for children to be employed for any work at school age employer can be punished legally for the violation of this law and here we come to the end of chapter number 15 that is equality in democracy i hope you have understood the complete chapter if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you